the dramatic downfall of another celebrity for sexual misconduct, this time in Pennsylvania. ABC's Sherry Preston revisits this week's conviction of Bill Cosby. Outside of Pennsylvania Courthouse this week, there were tears for the guilty verdict handed down in the sexual assault trial of Bill Cosby. Prosecutors who portrayed the comedian as a serial sex predator. Cosby's defense team said there was no proof he had done anything wrong. Cosby was being retried on charges of drugging and sexually assaulting Andrea Constant. But since the allegations against the man once known as America's dad became public, dozens of women had come forward accusing him of the same thing. ABC's Lindsay Davis has more on the ruling from where the trial was held, Norristown, Pennsylvania. We are vindicated, we are validated, and we are now part of the tsunami of women's power and justice. Justice has been done! A chorus of women rejoicing as comedian Bill Cosby was found guilty on three counts of aggravated indecent assault. Special report. There is breaking news in Bill Cosby's sexual assault retrial. There has been a verdict. Icon Bill Cosby is now a convicted sex offender. Over the years, more than 60 women have accused the entertainer of sexual misconduct, dozens of them filling the cover of New York Magazine in 2015. Seven men and five women taking 14 hours to unanimously decide Cosby drugged and sexually assaulted Andrea Constant at his Pennsylvania home in 2004. The former Temple University employee says Cosby gave her three pills followed by wine, which left her frozen. The verdict was met with a burst of tears and joy. As Cosby himself was escorted out of the courthouse, he raised his cane in defiant response to supporters, while others jeered, one person shouting, Rapist! Cosby's lawyers vow they will appeal. We don't think Mr. Cosby is guilty of anything. Mr. Cosby, you prepared to go to prison, sir? Cosby has denied any non-consensual relations. He faces up to 10 years for each count to find the 80-year-old spending some of his final years behind bars. ABC News' Chris Francisconi was also in the courtroom and says the verdict seemed to take Cosby...